Alrighty, hey there guys, Adrian Acosta here, aka Jedi Bro 95 coming at you guys with another video. And in this video, I'm going to be going over basically all, pardon me, all of the new cars that were spoiled today for Ultimate Legends, the Ultimate Legends promo starting tomorrow or today uh, as I am recording this video Friday night. And this video won't come out until uh, Saturday morning or afternoon. So by then, this will be today <laughs> and also the new nfl honors cards they did announce two new nfl honors cards uh for uh, the two new the, the next two cards i mean for um nfl honors promo so with that out of the way the first card in question my apologies for that is going to be travis frederick now he is a power center for the dallas cowboys all of these cards i believe are going to be 97 overalls so with power-ups they're going to be 98 overall cards <laughs> So this card, is, this card is actually a pretty amazing. 895 strength, 95 awareness, 96 pass block and pass block power, 95 pass block finesse, 97 run block, and 96 run block power and run block finesse. This card is amazing. A lot of these Ultimate Legends cards are amazing as shit, man. Like these cards are just mind blowing. Like this card is just really good. Best center in the game right now, probably instead of uh, probably. Ahead of Kevin Mawai, in my opinion, I think this card is now better than Kevin Mawai, uh, who, in my opinion, was the best center until, obviously, this card. Uh, and then the next one is Adulis Thomas, uh, right outside linebacker. He is a power rusher, 91 speed, 93 excel, 90 strength, 96 tackle, 94 play rec, 95 block shed, 96 power, and 80 finesse move. Uh, this card is really great. Uh, great edge rusher. Uh you know, a 91 speed base, so with power up and theme team cam, it's a 94 power, uh, 94 speed. Uh, keep in mind that these cards are without power ups, so if you want to keep the power up in mind, just add one to all of their things, which obviously is pretty obvious if you are a normal, if you are a regular Madden player. <laughs> But yeah, this card is pretty amazing. Uh, you can get not you can get block shed, play rec, tackle, and power move maxed out with you. Actually, no, you get well power move. You can get maxed out if you use pass rush. Uh, block shed, play rec, and tackle is only for um, uh, run stuff. And I think there was another one that you could you go for too. But yeah, this card is just amazing. Uh, this is a fantastic card. Uh, good user edge rusher, a good regular edge rusher, just a fantastic card all around. Next card is one I'm excited about to get right now. Uh, Steve Hutchinson, 97 overall left guard power for the Seattle Seahawks theme team. Uh, recently inducted into the Hall of Fame. I had no idea that he was a Hall of Famer, uh, last year, but, so, congrats to him. But, Anyways, this card is amazing. 96 strength, 95... All these cards are amazing. 96 strength, 95 awareness, 96 pass block, ni pass block, yeah, 95 pass block power, 94 pass block finesse, 97 run block, and 96 run block power and run block finesse. This card is, um, this card is pretty great. Uh, I'll look to pick this up as soon as I can for the team. Uh, and he'll be my, um, he'll obviously be in... A, he's an endgame card, obviously. All these le ultimate legends are going to be endgame cards. Um... Yeah, this is a card that I'm going to be looking to get as soon as possible. Uh, and then the next card is Harry Carson, which, like, did he have a 50 card or a legend card sometime in the year? I don't remember him ever getting a card. But even then, 97 overall field general middle linebacker uh, card, 92 strength, 92 speed, I mean, 93 excel, 91 strength, 95 tackle and play rec, 90, 96 block shed, uh, 97 hit power, and 91 zone coverage. So with power up, uh, even with power up, unfortunately, you cannot get 99 zone, but you can get 90, <laughs> 97 zone, which is still pretty high. You know, he's even then he's still a good run stopper, middle linebacker, uh, with good block shed, good hit power, good pursuit and play recognition, uh, good play recognition and tackling. This is just a really good card, guys. Like, you know, Giants fans are gonna, I think Giants fans are really gonna love this card. This card is just really good. Uh, the next card, is, the next two cards are uh, Corey Dillon and honestly. I'm not even going to try and pronounce this dude's last name because I feel like I would butcher it and I would just sound really bad. 
Uh, but this gentleman right here, cornerback for the Oakland Raiders, 94 speed, 95 excel, 94 agility, 95 jumping at play rack, 97 man, 94 zone, 96 pursuit. So 99 man zone and press, I said pursuit, and press with power up or even non-powered up. Uh, with theme team and sprinter maxed out on this card, you will be able to get to that 99 speed and acceleration. Uh, so that is a plus. Uh, yeah, 99 man, 99 zone maxed out um, with the power up and 99 press. So this is a really good end game cornerback. Um, yeah, just a very good guard all around. Uh, I'm interested to see what his um, like his other stats are, like his tackling and his catching though because i think th that's something that they really need to showcase these you know catching like on cornerbacks because you know a lot of these cornerbacks can are really good at getting picks and you know with this card having will it get this like good amount of picks here i mean 15 picks in 157 games that's not very good but i mean hey he's still a good solid cornerback Next card is Corey Dillon for the Cincinnati Bengals, a 97 overall power back with 73 speed, 94 excel, 73, 93 speed, 94 excel, 91 agility, and 97 carrying. He also has a 91 change of direction, 97 brake tackle, and a 92 trucking. Uh, yeah, just a very good power back. Um, this card looks to be pretty great. Um, I think he might get some play on some on some non-theme teams but i think this might be just a theme team card rather than a overall you know just used whenever uh and then the f no this is the second last one my bad so the next ones that were spoiled were mean joe green and isaac bruce uh now mean joe green is a power rusher dt with 81 speed 90 excel 96 strength tackle plot blo and block shed 95 play rec, 97 hit, uh, 97 power move, my mistake. So, this card can get inside stuff for uh, inside stuff for 2 AP. He also can get double or nothing for 2 AP, which is better for pat for edge th rushers, but you know, if you want to put him on your edge as your edge rusher, he can get double or nothing for 2 AP and he also like I said can get inside stuff and no outsiders for 2 AP. So, this is going to be one of the better D tackles, if not the best D tackle in the game. Uh, yeah, this is a very good card. I think a lot of people are going to be picking this up as their card to use. Um, next card is Isaac Bruce, route 97 overall route runner, uh, 95 speed, 93 jumping, 97 catch, 96 catch in traffic at spec, 94 short, 95 mid, and 97 deep. So with play fake. On, and with him powered up and with play fake maxed out, you will get 99 short and mid route running, uh, as well as 99 catch uh, for play fake or even or either spec catch or catch in traffic if you go go deep or um, go deep or um, west coast. And he's a route runner archetype, so he'll be able to get two AP for route technician as well as all of the like short in short out, like the shorts, the mid, and the deep. Uh, elites he'll get all of those for one ap so these are this is a really great card um definitely i if you know if i was building just a random god squad or like a random team i probably would pick this up because he seems like a very good card uh, and then the final card that was cards that were announced were brian dawkins and randall cunningham so brian dawkins real quick this was a card that when it was first released this card was the best free safety in the game by a long shot because there really wasn't a whole lot of other free safeties in the game that you could genuinely use her or use and be all right with so this card is actually really great um 94 speed 95 excel 95 94 tackling, 96 play rec and pursuit, 83 man though, which is pretty low, 95 zone and 96 hit power, but he is a zone free safety. Um, yeah, this might be the best safety in the game or might be, it's certainly in the conversation to be a top three safety in the game if, but for sure, this is the best free safety card in the game right now. I don't even think, unless Sean, Sean Taylor's a free safety, but even then I think Brian Dawkins is now going to be taking his spot as the next, as the best free safety. Uh, and then the Randall Cunningham, um, he is an improviser quarterback. Um, so he has 93 speed, 97 throw power, 
90s short, 91 mid, 95 deep, 93 throw under pressure, 70, 97 throw on the run, and 94 play action. Uh, and according to this tweet right here, you can't really see it too much. Let me just move it. There you go. Uh, it does ask, he did ask what is his uh, awareness, and it is 94. So that means powered up, he will be able to get Hot Route Master with a power up which is the exact requirements you need for it for an improviser qb to get hot round master you need to be a 98 overall with 95 awareness so right just right there he'll be able to get um you'll be able to get it but this is the best improviser in the game i'm not gonna say it's the best quarterback because we got tom brady but when it comes to improvisers, yeah, this card is amazing. It's got great escapability with 93 speed, um, great run, great accuracy on all, except the mid route accuracy. That was a little bit lower than I thought. Great throw on the run, great throw power. This is just the best improviser QB in the entire game right now. Um, yeah, this is just a very good card. And he'll be able to get Gunslinger and Hot Route Master. So that's a win-win. And Escape Artist. Look at that. You get three of, so you get three of the best of... You get three of the best, I'm not saying D3 best, but three of the top four best abilities for a quarterback in Madden 21. Alrighty, the next cards that I'm going to be talking about are the NFL Honors cards. These are the two that were spoiled er, today, uh, a few hours ago at the time of making this video. Uh, so Josh Allen and Aaron Donald are going to be the final, not the final, the the they're going to be the two in the penultimate drop for um the nfl honors uh i'll take a i'm going to honestly think that i think they may skip russell wilson's um and man of the year team awards honor the uh, team honors uh card be, nfl honors card i mean because he literally just got team of the year and aaron Rodgers has not received the mvp card yet so it would only make sense that he is gonna get the mvp card i don't know why they would skip out on the mvp that just doesn't make sense to me so i feel i feel russell wilson won't get an upgrade and to be honest i know a lot of people some people are a little bit upset with that i'm gonna be honest i'm fine with it you know we i got my upgrade that i wanted don't get me wrong i would love another upgrade maybe in a couple of months uh but as it stands right now i'm completely fine with not getting an upgrade for Wilson for a little bit, to be honest. I would be completely fine with, you know, not having one. So, Josh Allen, strong arm quarterback as he was, as he's always been. 90 speed, 99 throw power, 94 short, mid, and deep accuracy, 92 throw under pressure, 97 throw on the run, and 92 play action. Um, This card is a beast. This card is just phenomenal. Uh, don't know if he can get Hot Route Master, but he for sure can get Gunslinger on 2 AP. For absolute sure. Now, can he also get Escape Artist? That is a question I want to know. Can he get Escape Artist? Because he is... He's got 90 speed. And strong arm quarterbacks cannot get Escape Artist unless they're a 98 overall if i remember correct or it is a hot round master that they can't get for if they're 98 overall either or but if it is a um if there is a ability to get escape artists on this card this card is probably going to be in the conversation as a top three qb in the game behind tom brady and I want to say Rich Gannon. I can't remember who the second best quarterback in the game is right now. And then Aaron Donald, he is the um de he won the defensive player of the year and this card, wow, this card is mind-blowingly good. 84 speed, which is it's fine for an edge rusher. I'm not going to complain about that too much. 93 speed, 98 strength. So powered up, he'll have a 99 strength. Holy crap. 94 tackling, 93 tackling, I mean, 96 play rec, 97 block shed, 96 power, and 94 finesse move. So, maxed out this, so put this card in a power up, okay? I actually have his power up. He's probably, he more than likely will become my starting either D tackle 
or he might be my starting like left end or something later on down the line. Um, but yeah, powered up. This card's got a 98 block shed with 94 tackle and 99 strength. So max out run stuff on this card, and you got 99 block shed, 99 play rec, 99 tackling, and more than likely 99 hit power. Like this card is a beast. Probably the best. It not probably. It is the best rusher. It is the best D uh, lineman in the game. Uh, my God, this card is just amazing. But anyways, guys, that is going to be the end of this video, guys. Um, so, like I said, I do expect them to fully commit to dropping. I did not realize I retreated this. Um, Aaron Rodgers for the MVP card. But let me know in the comment section below, gentlemen, what cards you would like to have seen for the Ultimate Legends or what cards you're hopefully going to see for Ultimate Legends as this is only the first drop of the promo. All right, sorry, before I for I did forget this in my original recording, so I'll make up for it right now. Um, the final thing I wanted to talk about when it came to the um, new Mutt content that was coming out, uh, last night they put out a new type of a training pack. So this training pack, so hey Mutt community, a new training offer is now available in store. Training variety pack. Uniforms are available in, pa in the pack are... Color Rush Saints, Giants, Broncos, Chargers, Alternate 49ers and Falcons, and 95 Alternate ca Classic Cowboys uh, jerseys. More to be added in the future. So finally, Color Rush jerseys are coming to Madden 21. Can I just say, this was long overdue. My goodness, I've been waiting on these since I basically got the game. I was wondering when I first got the game, where is the Color Rush jerseys in Madden Ultimate Team? I was so sick of looking at the same jerseys every single time. And hopefully they don't aren't just restricted to home or away. Hopefully you can mix and match. Like you can have, like for example, for my Seahawks, I could put the green Color Rush jersey as an away jersey. Because that way I don't have to stare at the dull looking white and blue ones. Like don't dis No disrespect. I like those jerseys, but I, I also like color in the jerseys I'm looking at. Anyways, so that's not all this training pack acquired. Uh, it shows, as you can see right here, contains one of the following. A power-up player, a 90 overall series, re, uh, 90 overall redux, 83 overall legends, 82 plus overall team of the week, a coin quick sell, or an alternate uniform. Now, this is a fantastic way, in my opinion, to control poten potentially control or tone down the power-up issues because the the yeah the power-ups in this game i've mentioned it a couple of times power-ups are fucking ridiculous in this game for how much they cost like i i genuinely have no idea why people charge that much but anyways guys now that's going to be the end of this video if you guys did like the video hit the like button comment if you guys did enjoy subscribe if you're new and with that i'm out peace